This is Banjo, and today I'll teach you how to release unguided bombs using the targeting site as a bomb site. Start by enabling your master arm and taking your laser out of standby. Uncage the cheval and lock up your target. Next we're going to mark the target using our data link by pressing the button that corresponds to the type of target, followed by send to memory. On the Abris display underneath the waypoint we can see the target location. Next to recage your schwal pressing the targeting system reset button, select your data link target, and select ingress to target. This will steer the aircraft towards the target automatically. Next in the navigation control panel, select heading range. This will display the heading and range to target. Since my target sits underneath a waypoint, I'll be using the true heading button, which will also display time to target. The next step is to decide which type of bomb I'm dropping. As we can see, I'm carrying submunitions and I'm carrying 500 pounders. I'll be using the submunitions for this, which is a setting of 10 on the ballistic settings dial, which is located in the rear panel of the aircraft. The selector also displays settings for the 500 pounders, which are defaulted to 8, as well as gun pods, rockets, and every other type of unguided munition. Now that our ballistic selector is set to the right preset, we can disable automatic tracking, which will bore sight the weapon system, effectively creating a bomb sight. The location of the schwal on the Abris display effectively becomes point of impact and then we could use the schwal display to give us visual on target which will assist us in letting us know when to release the weapon system. We're able to see all relevant information relating to our target including range and time to target. We can see our impact point on both displays and once you either have your target in the TV frame or your schwal sitting directly on your target, release the weapon system. Or in the case of some munitions, hold it just, just prior to the point of release as they take a second to release. Dispersing some munitions, I'll be flying in at a level flight pattern. This will give me a good dispersal pattern, but if I were to be dropping FAB 250s or FAB 500s, I would come in at a much steeper attack angle. The weapon systems in the Kama 50 have no CCIP or other form of computer targeted release protocol. So you'll have to manually release as target comes into frame, which will naturally take a bit of practice. And always remember that it takes a bit of a while for vehicles to explode in DCS, so just observe your target as you pass by.